<laughs> oh, it's almost morning. Oh. Oh, they better show up. Or I'm going to fall asleep. And I don't want to put the blinds up in the car and leave it sitting here. Where are you? You damn mutt. There you are. Hey! Over here, come on. That's it. Come on, get in. Get in. God, you're a mess. You do realize that you have pine needles all over you, right? What'd you do? You get in a war for dominance with a tree? Yeah, yeah, I know. Come on, sit down. Yes, yes, in the passenger side. Yeah, right behind you. With the wet wipes. There, yeah. Well, it's not like I can put a shower in here. Come on. Are you hurt? Just the normal level of scraped up, huh? Nothing serious, right? Let me look. I have to be sure. I mean, imagine the last time. Good. Now, you let me be the judge of that. But it doesn't look like you have any enormous wounds on you, and you're able to walk here. So, I'll believe you for now. If you do have something that's even a little serious, or something that hurts, or... Okay, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Just let daddy be daddy, right? <laughs> Did you have a good shift? I mean, overall, no trouble. Well, I know this is your first shift after last time, and I, uh, oh, did you, uh, have anything good? Uh-huh. A deer, huh? Good job. Here, you missed some spots. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just start wiping this off of you. I, I was pulling out shrapnel from you not a month ago okay I think I've earned the right to keep my car clean yes this is a nice car okay immortal I may be but a salary I'm still on yet contrary to popular belief our sire does not finance all of us we don't go wandering about with just disposable income. Yeah. No. Look, I'm just cleaning you up. God. Did you make love to the pine tree? What is this? Oh, yes, no, hold still have some here you, you missed some on your face shh I've been closer to you than this I don't know why you're suddenly bothering you yeah I know Should have brought another container of wet wipes. No, the the trash can, please. Thank you. They don't need to be dropped onto the floorboard. Well, it's a this is a vintage car. Okay, I happen to really like it. I'm rather proud of earning the money to have it. No, I did not buy one when they first came out. 
And even if I did, I didn't have the money to keep it up like this. At least not till recently. I was lucky enough to get in good with most of the families in this town when I started the clinic. Even then, I run it for free. For the better part, people still donate. Well, you get in good with the locals when uh, you can only be out at night. Now, we better get going soon before I end up having to turn into ash. No, you may not take over. Have you noticed the, the state you're in? I'm going to be scrubbing off one seat at least. I don't want two. Plus, you're still groggy from your shift. <laughs> sure, sure. Tell me all about it. Well, it couldn't be the first time you took down a deer. You cried the first time you took one down. Really? No, 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 it, it makes sense. I just thought... No, I just... I, uh... I had you pegged as a born hunter. Of course, I, I guess that's not really logical. You know, nurture versus nature and all that. I, uh, I think a lot of creatures like us have that initial moral dilemma when we first turn or shift or whatever it is we do. You think, oh no, 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 I could never kill things. <laughs> but then uh, eventually you realize there's not really a lot of difference between that and the way birds eat insects and the way deer eat birds and wolves eat deer and humans eat all the things that humans eat yes yes deer eat birds you ever seen the video it's crazy I, it's insane I, I'm not no I'm not lying you, you, you can look it up google it when we get back I'll let you use the computer again Whatever, it's, it's beside the point. I, you know what, I, I don't even remember what my point was. I, I guess it's usually a bit tougher for vampires, but still, it's the same thing. It's, it's just as immoral for vampires to feed on humans as it is for birds to eat insects. Which is to say that it's not at all. You know, not that humans are like insects to vampires, or... The vampires are like birds. Yeah. You done? All right, here, put that. Well, we got you looking a little bit less like the, uh, the forest floor. Now, um, let's get you home and out of all that dirt. But, uh, you know, little victories, right? All right, you know what? Some of these scrapes are still bleeding. Let me let me wipe you off. We've got time. We've got time. I'm gonna wipe off your scrapes now, just to be safe. All right. After this, I've got some antibacterial ointment, and I'll put that on them, and that'll be it. All right. Then we can just go home. I can see you're exhausted, so just just hold on to the bed, okay? Alright. I know. Doesn't sting. Well, I had time to plan for it. And you know it it means a lot to me that uh, you trust me enough to do this. You you come meet you after a shift and clean you up. I know it isn't easy for you to be vulnerable. So, I just want to let you know that it means a lot to me. 
No, I, I understand. Being what we are, we... Lots of us distance ourselves from each other and from others. And we're scared of hurting people. And we're scared of being hurt. When you're immortal, you, you'll deal with pain a lot longer. Right? We're too busy thinking about survival to think about anything softer, you know? And, like, I used to be a lot worse at being vulnerable than I am now, if I'm going to be honest. I was the typical melodramatic prick, um, but I had a lot of time to grow. And I've since long grown out of pretending to be, pretending it's noble to suffer alone, you know? It takes far less strength to push people away than it does to let them in. So, I want to be someone who chooses to love when it's hard. You know, to be that kind of strong. That's why I, uh, that's why I admire you letting me do this. Go on. Tell me I sound like a wannabe slam poet. I can see it on your face. You're holding it back, but I know you're telling me. <laughs> we'll work on it together. No, about being emotionally open, not about poetry. I mean, is poetry your thing? <laughs> All right, got it. Hey, if you ever need me to proofread anything, uh, I, I, I'll do it. You know, I'm, I'm just letting you know in case you're stuck by inspiration one day. I, I, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> you're cranky when you're done shifting it may seem like overkill to you but uh, when you shift you're getting covered in dirt and blood and God knows what else you don't clean these out even little scratches like the ones here and you risk infection <sighs> lesson learned Save my advice for when you're not half asleep. That way you may actually remember it. You may darn well appreciate it. Alright, what else do you need right now? I've got water, protein bar, heating pad, cold pack, diner food. You want diner food. Yeah, Alright. Wait, aren't your senses totally fried right now? Would you be okay going to a restaurant? Yeah, I figured that'd be a hard pass. There's got to be one that does takeouts not too far away. Let me, let me double check. Okay, Google. Diners near me. Yeah, there's one about 10 minutes away. We got time. Well, no, I can't order online. I got to download an app. Why would I have apps for food? <laughs> Did we forget one of us only drinks blood? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's go. Come on. Alright, I got maybe a bar. Uh, I'll call it in when we get some service. Try to stay awake until then. Well, you gotta tell me all the junk you wanna eat. 
When's the last time I would look at a menu and care? No, I'm not judging. Your body probably knows what it wants better than anybody else will. I guess sometimes that means deep fried everything with gravy. Yeah. And but you better sleep after that. All right. And no biting me when I try to wake you up. Okay. Yes, yes, you can have full control over the radio. <laughs> Don't play that game where you try to your best to make me regret giving you control of the radio. It's too early. I swear to God, if you blow my speakers out with grindcore metal, I'm driving up to that diner, getting one coffee and nothing else. Oh, those are the cutest puppy dog eyes. Golf clap for your 10 out of 10 performance. Don't worry, I'd never do that to you, and if I did, I wouldn't order cherry pie. Yes, I know I said I only drink blood. Shh, shh, shh. I've got a... I can manage a slice before my stomach fights it. And that's the best part of going to a diner. You, you have to have the cherry pie. Yeah, I know. It will give me a horrible stomach ache because it's not blood. And blood is the only thing that sustains me. But, you know, it's a, it's a diner and it's, it's cherry pie. Yes, you can have half of my ha Oh, You're actually hungry. I've got no excuse, I guess, but... No. There's clothing in the back seat. Yeah, it's just your pajamas. <laughs> well, I didn't think we were going out for fine dining. I didn't know this was going to be a date. <laughs> you should put something nice and quiet to listen to, and I'll get us food. And we can go home and crash. Hopefully before the sun comes up. I don't really want to switch seats while me covered in diner food and blankets hoping to not turn to ash. <sighs> yeah, I could use a good rest too. So let's take it easy together, okay? Today we're not allowed to do anything other than lounge around and goof off. Unless, of course, I get a call. But let's worry about that when we get to it. Good. I'm glad you agree. Now let's get going.